and welcome to Till Point. This Get Started Guide will get you up and running in no time at all and is designed to give you a good understanding of how Till Point works, guiding you through some of the more commonly used apps. Your newly downloaded application will look slightly different to the one in this video and will display apps relevant to the business type selected upon sign up. You can of course edit the layout of the homepage by enabling and disabling apps via the settings and we'll cover that in a later video. We're going to start with the inventory app, learning how to create a category, add an item to the category, and then how that item can be sold. We can begin by tapping on the back office, followed by tapping on the inventory app. As your account is new, the inventory app is going to be filled with preset data depending on which business type was selected upon signing up. If you've already cleared this preset data, which you can do via the clear data button on the homepage, you must create a category before you can add items. Items can't be added to the inventory without a category in which to put them. To create a new category, tap on the New Category button located on the top left hand side of the window. You can keep it quite basic, adding just a category name and an image, or you can take it one step further by going into the Advanced Info, which allows you to colour code the category, categorise by location, add availability, and so on. All categories appear on the left hand side of the inventory. In order to edit or delete a category, Simply select it and then using your finger or thumb, swipe to the left. This is going to reveal two icons. You can tap the red bin icon to delete or the orange pencil icon to edit the category. This method of swiping to the left to edit or delete is universal throughout the application and you can use it to edit customers, staff, various settings and more. Tap the burger icon as highlighted to show category options which enable you to edit and delete categories rearrange the order in which they appear in, which will also rearrange the order that they appear in in the point of sale, view category information and recover deleted categories. To add an item, tap on the new item button as highlighted. There are three types of items you can add, products, matrix items, which are variants, and packages. In the case of this guide, we're going to be adding a simple product. So to go ahead, we'll tap on the product button. This will open the basic info window for adding a new product. After you've filled out the fields, you can then tap on the check mark to save the item. As you can see, the newly added item is out of stock. By tapping on this button here, you can see the balance of items at all of your inventory locations. You can add additional inventory locations in the settings. In order to increase the quantity of your items, there are a couple of ways that you can do it. The first is by tapping on this burger icon here and performing a stock take. The second is by tapping on this burger icon here and adjusting the item by quantity. Now that we've added this item, we're going to go back to the homepage by tapping on the till point icon located in the top left hand side, followed by tapping on the point of sale. Categories appear on the top of the POS page as highlighted. You can group categories together using the parent categories, which you can adjust in the settings, or you can remove the parent categories altogether. When a category is selected, all of the items contained within that category will be displayed on the right hand side. Tapping on an item, such as the one we just added, will add it to the basket. Should you wish to see all payment options, tap on the blue pay button, which will reveal all methods of payment on the right hand side. We can complete the order by tapping on the cash button. We can complete the order by tapping on the cash button if we'd like to pay in cash, followed by using the keypad to enter an amount. Or what we can do is use these very handy percentage buttons to indicate how much of a percentage we want to pay. In this case, if I wanted to pay the entire bill with cash, I can tap on 100% and the system will auto fill that amount for me. I can then tap on the check mark and the checkout has been completed. Here I have a few checkout options which include no receipt, print receipt, I can send an e-receipt via email or SMS, and I even have a marketing SMS function, which we're going to cover in a later video. All orders can be seen by tapping on the orders button from the point of sale, but this page can also be accessed directly from the homepage by tapping on the orders app. All items added to your inventory can be viewed in the digital menu which you can see by tapping on the menu app. Please let us know if you found this video useful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if there's anything you're unsure of, let us know in the comments below. For more help with Tillpoint, head over to tillpoint.com forward slash help.